It finally happened. Official servers are shut down. So today I'm going to show you how to get online servers back up and running on the Wii U and the 3DS. So if you haven't heard, Pretendo is a free and open source replacement for the Nintendo servers, allowing us to continue to use the Wii U and 3DS to its full potential. So I will have the official website linked down below and it'll take you here. It has all the information you need about it. If you want to read the about, you scroll down. Uh, the progress currently is about 72%, so it's not complete, but it is much farther than the last guide I made on how to set it up. So. This is an updated tutorial. If you scroll down all the way to the bottom, this is the team, so big shout out to them. But let's go ahead and get started. So the first step would be to create a Pretendo account. Now technically you can create one on your Wii U or 3DS after you set up Pretendo, but I think it's just easier if we create it on the computer first. And then we can just easily sign into it on our consoles instead of creating it there. Now, unfortunately, you can't use your Nintendo network ID. You have to create a completely new one for Pretendo. But don't worry, there are ways with Homebrew to transfer your save data from your Nintendo network ID to your Pretendo network ID. And just a warning with your Pretendo network ID setup, if you are using the same username as your Nintendo network ID on the same console, you need to delete that one first before linking your Pretendo one with the same name. So in the top right, click the profile icon and just click don't have an account. You can register here. So fill in your email, username, me name, password, and you will be set. Now, if you want to edit your profile information, it says it's unavailable currently. So hopefully that is updated soon, maybe while you're watching this, but you can click on this edit and Edit, edit your me, change it, and, but it will take a little bit to register on this page. It took about 24 hours to update. And if you scroll down, you can also link your Discord account. I did forget to mention there is an official Pretendo Discord, which is linked down below. Head on over there if you want to meet people to play with or if you need help, anything along there. That is the place to go for Pretendo related questions. But since you have the account created, let's go ahead and hover over Docs and install Pretendo. Click on install Pretendo and we are going to start with the Wii U. So if you're here for only the 3DS, skip ahead to where we begin that. But for those of us on the Wii U, click on Wii U and it will give us a couple different options. There actually is a DNS setting you can change, but as you can see, it's called SS. SL and there's some cons it just does not support nearly as much as the plugin that we are going to be doing in this guide so let's scroll past that and you should see Inke that is the plugin we're going to use now this does require a homebrewed Wii U with aroma this does not work on tiramisu unfortunately I do have a video on how to upgrade to aroma from tiramisu in the top right or in the description but let's scroll down to where it says stable and we're just gonna click on Inke's latest release right here and it'll take us to github go ahead and click on the WPS file for Inke and it'll download but once you have the file we can plug in the SD card we use to mod our Wii U all right so on your Wii U's SD card go into your Wii U folder environments aroma plugins and here we're going to grab this Inke pretendo file and drag it inside and that is it for the SD card setup for your Wii U, so let's head over there. And there it is, in the top left you know Pretendo's working because you see that icon. Now it's time to link a user. So click on your user, go to switch user, and now I'm assuming most of you have a linked Nintendo network ID to a user, so I'm going to be adding a new user, but if you have a me that does not have a linked Nintendo network ID, you can just link it to that one. But I'm going to add a new user. And I'll switch over to the gamepad and set it up. I'm gonna use my 3DS stylus. Yeah. So just run through here as normal. Next, 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 until you get to this page. So it's asking for a Nintendo network ID. We're just gonna click yes. We're gonna go through this exactly the same, except we're gonna use our Pretendo network ID. Click yes. Next. If you get this error, just try again in a little bit. There, I tried again and it worked. So press OK once you're here. And go ahead and type in your Pretendo Network ID username. And your password. And your email address, which I think I made a typo on mine. Double check you have everything right. Scroll down and hit OK. Click link. 
and now we're going to register a me. Press OK, choose from existing, and there we go, Funky47. This is actually the me I created on the website, but we'll just hit register, register, and we're good to go. It'll ask for parental controls, not now, and now we are good to go. But now I'll quickly show you how to disconnect it on your Wii. So if you hit left trigger, down, and minus, it'll take us to the plugin menu. You can click A on Inke, patching, and then if you click A, you'll change connect to the Pretender network from true to false. And then that'll simply disconnect it. But we're gonna leave it connected and head back. And if you get this prompt, just hit later. We have nothing to confirm. And there you have it, you are completely set up and ready to go with Pretendo. If you're here just for Wii U, I hope I was able to help and I'll see you on the next video. But if you're here for the 3DS, setting it up on there, let's head back to the PC and get started with that. Alright, here we go, set up on the 3DS, go back to Docs, install Pretendo, install Pretendo, and click on 3DS Family. And yes, this does work on all models. So click on it. And before getting started, there is a caution, system transfers are not currently supported by our servers, so do not try one. That is your warning. And you do need a homebrewed system with the latest version of Luma 3DS. Now if you don't know if you have the latest version, it's best to update it anyway. I'm going to be doing it as well. So let's quickly go grab that zip. Luma 3DS, quick google search, I'll also have it linked down below. But just scroll down, grab the Luma 3DS V13.0.2. That's the latest version as of right now. Just click on it to download. We can exit there. So scroll down to downloading Nimbus. And it does say you can get Nimbus from the Universal Updater as well. But if you do it that way, you're still going to have to install the associated IPS patches from GitHub. So you might as well just download it on your PC. So click on Nimbus release and it'll take us to this page where you scroll down and just grab the combined zip file. And now we can take out our SD card we used to mod our 3DS or 2DS and place it into our computer. So first thing we're gonna do is update our Luma 3DS. So we're gonna open that zip file, highlight both of these files and drag it onto the root of your SD card and hit replace. Very easy, we can exit there, delete that zip file and open the combined zip file, highlight all three and drag them onto the root of your SD card. Exit the zip file, we can delete it. If you still have the Wii U file, we can delete that too. And if you go into your Luma folder, titles, you should have these folders here. And there we go, we can eject our SD card and head over onto our console. I'll meet you there. And when you power on your console, make sure you hold the select button. And then you should see this page right here. Click A on the top one, enable loading external firms and modules, so that there's an X. Go down and click A on enable game patches. Go all the way down to save and exit, and it should reboot your console into your home menu. And now we're going to install the Nimbus file to our home menu, so head over into FBI. You should already have this if you homebrewed your 3DS. Click A on SD, go down to CIAS. You should see nimbus.cia, click A on it, and we're going to install and delete it. Yes, and it will install. Press OK when it's done, and then we can hit the home button, and new software should be added on your home menu, press OK, and let's open it up. There we go, we got Nimbus on our home menu. Now this is very easy to use, just click on it, load it up, and it'll bring you this menu. This gives you two options, Pretendo or Nintendo, and we all know Nintendo has forgotten us. So click Pretendo and it'll switch the servers to Pretendo. And there you go, once your console reboots, you are good to go. So you can start playing games or you can connect your Nintendo network ID, that's what we're gonna do right now. So go over to your system settings, Nintendo network ID settings, and you're just gonna link it as if you were doing your Nintendo network ID. If you wanna transfer your save data to your Pretendo network ID, you can use JKSM to do that. Press okay, and let's link one. Next, next, link an existing ID, next, blah, blah, blah. Understood, I read it all. <laughs> and just type in your Pretendo network ID. Confirm all your information is correct and hit done. 
hit link next <gasps> all right there was an error so we're just gonna try again and there we go, third time's the charm. So if you do get an error code, it's always worth trying again before looking it up. But just click next, next. We don't need parental controls. And we're good to go. We now have our Pretendo network ID linked. And we're connecting to my card seven. Boom, we're in a lobby. But there you have it. You can now keep enjoying online services on your Wii U and 3DS. Hopefully you found this guide helpful. If you did, make sure to hit the like and I will see you on the next one. Stay funky and happy modding. <laughs>